This video shows some ways we can smooth contours. Now I'm not a big fan of smoothing contours since we're taking the real data and we're just smoothing it for people's, um, just cause that's what they're used to seeing. So we used to draw contours by hand and when we did that, we made assumptions on where the surface is going. And today we really don't need to do that because the computer is telling us based on the points that we did out in the field, this is what our surface looks like. So even if we get jagged contours, um, that's the way the earth looks like, especially when we're doing like laser surveys where there's lots of data. But if we do want to smooth stuff, there's some ways that we can do it. Uh, one way to do it is to modify our surface style. And then on the contours, there's an option to add smooth contours. And we can set that to true. And then we can add vertices or we can spline the curve. And here we can increase or decrease the number of vertices that are being added. And so then we can do that and you can see that some of the contours have been smoothed out. And we could have that as part of a style. The other way to do it is within the surface definition. Under edits, we can right click and we can smooth the surface. And so this is going to go through and use either natural neighbor interpolation or the cringing method. Um, and then we can choose which um, values we want to change. And we can either smooth a um, output grid, bunch of different options. Um, then you can hit OK and then it'll go through and do whatever the fancy math is for these two methods. If our jagged contours is because we have too much data, we can always right click and we can simplify the surface by removing either edge contraction or doing point removal. And with point removal, we can um, use an existing surface border and a particular area that we want, or we can select objects. And then we can specify what percentage of the points that we want removed. And this will usually get rid of the jagged points along contours because usually those jaggedness are because there's an elevation difference between those points. And if we get rid of those points, then it removes the jaggedness because then we're interpolating over a farther distance. And then we get the illusion of a nice smoother contour, but really all we're doing is removing data from the surface. Um, up here, it'll tell you how many points are in the drawing. And so presumably if I do 50% at the end of this operation, I'll have 40, roughly 4,500 points. And then I can remove it based on the maximum change in elevation. So if the nearby points um, are within that maximum range, it won't remove them. And then you can hit finish and it's going to go through and remove those points. And then you can see that some of those jagged points, jagged contours went away because I removed the data and now the triangulation is different. Um, I wouldn't suggest using any of these methods. I would accept the jagged contours as what the reality is out there and that we shouldn't worry on what we did in the 1940s or 80s um, to get smooth contours because we were really just interpolating like 25 between 25 foot points and 50 foot points and today we have a lot more detail because our tools are getting better and jaggedness is just the way the world looks like.